Hey guys, Sean here with the Kings Courtyard Lawn Care Service and back here with another video. I'm about to head out real quick, take care of some lawns, but before I do, I want to show you guys real quick the uh, new and improved setup for my 2020 lawn care season. And uh, here it is, guys. This is my trailer setup, basically where I'm going to be doing my, um, all of my operations is going to be done at. Um, you've seen most of it before. I did a 2020 lawn care setup uh, earlier this year that has, that has changed so dramatically right now. So um, I just want to give you guys an update real quick. Um, so without further ado, let's start with the blowers. This is my uh, 770T Echo Series, Pro Series. Backpack blower, this blower is pretty awesome. I like it. Um, this is my 580T that I purchased last year. Um, brand new. Both of these I purchased pretty much brand new. Um, this was reconditioned at um, Home Depot. This one I bought off of uh, Let Go. A guy used it like he bought it at the end of last season to blow leaves and then he figured it was too much for his yard so uh, he sold it on let go and I was able to pick it up it still looked brand new and it still looks pretty much brand new now um, of course you guys know that I have the uh, Bradley 52 inch uh, uh, stand on mower and you guys are familiar with my weed eaters probably by now I got the steel combi set up which this thing is a powerhouse for it to be residential I really like it um, Echo SRM 225. Um, it's a pretty good weed eater. Don't I don't have any complaints with it. Um, it did have a few problems. I'm, I'm gonna probably have to do a a tune-up kit with it, but it's it's a really good strong weed eater for most of my properties. I don't need a whole lot, um, and if I do, I just go grab this one, which I'll probably grab it today actually. Um, I have the. I think this is the PE225 Edger, it's a homeowner's edger, but it does phenomenal. As you see the edging in some of my videos, you know that I have a, um, it, it does a really good uh, edge job on it. So this is a great, great uh, edger. If you just want a, a little nice edger that's gonna do the job for you. Um, right here, I have my uh, measuring wheel if I need to measure something out for like uh, plant beds or something like that. Right here is my extender to my combi setup um, to make it a little bit longer if I need it. I forget how long it is. I think it's 14, 16, I don't remember. Um, this is my hedge trimmer combi attachment that I use when I'm doing hedge trimming. I actually got a hedge trimming job and a pine needle job today. So I'm going to try to knock that out today. And over here on the side, I have my battery operated uh, hedge trimmer. So, uh, if I'm at a property and I need to hit something real quick, I can just run in here and pick this up, knock it out, put it back, and uh, it's pretty cool. I also can put my uh, headphones on top of this little hook right here. I don't know if you can, you guys can really see it, but it kind of comes off to the side there like that. I like those hooks. Um, let's move around to the front. Um, just in case you haven't noticed, I moved my mower up to the front of the trailer. That way it allows me to put the walk behind back there when I need it and the uh, push mower on the other side of it. So I have a rake. I have uh, my tool, my trash tool, pickup tool where I can pick up trash and stuff. Um, and most of this right here is new guys, so bear with me. Obviously I keep my, my spray up here for like bees and stuff like that. And uh, so I like to keep that up top where I can get to it really, really fast. Um, this is all of my liquids, my oil. I use Red Armor. It works out pretty good for me. Um, and then this is my stable. This is a Promotol. This is a herbicide. And this is a Kills All. I haven't labeled that, but that's Kills All. And then I have some extra little hooks and things right here. Um, this is for my straps if I ever need to strap it down. It's a scraper. This right here is an extra head if I needed to have a, just a little bit more. I need to get I need to get another one. 
and I got a couple of little cheap bags in there. I haven't really figured out what all I'm going to do, but I bought, purchased these shells. I was hoping to get them in black, but I couldn't find them in black for a reasonable price. So I just uh, decided to go ahead and just get the silver. Worked out pretty good, I think. Um, down here, I just got a little miscellaneous stuff. Got a few masks in that box, and this is my ruler when I'm leveling out stuff. Little tie downs and whatnots in here, little tools. Um, got the tarp. This is my edger for the steel combi setup, setup down there. This is my uh, my gas can, the metal one that I bought. Here is another gas can for my mix. This is regular gas, and this is my mixed gas. And I still got that can down there, but I really need to take it out because I don't even use it anymore. Uh, I got a winch down there and obviously my new gas can or i'm sorry my new uh sprayer that i just bought battery power absolutely love it only thing about it is i wish it was a little bit bigger so but i plan on getting another one of these uh same size to do like um weed weed killer and stuff like that just for like to get lawns and stuff over here i have my string i need to get some more but this is where my string holder is um i use um I think it's called Ugly Line. Yeah, Ugly Line. Get that from Lowe's or Home Depot, something like that. I think it's about $30 a roll. Lasts a long time. Um, and my first aid kit, I just kind of put it here. And when I need it, boom, pop it open. Right there, got the bandages. Got the, I think it's a cold pack. Uh, I don't know what all this other stuff is. Got me some Neosporin in there. Got some gloves. Uh, some gauze, stuff like that. I had some uh, uh, Benadryl in there, but I took it out, I think, last year when I got stung by them bees. <laughs> I need to put it back in, though. Season's about to hit. Oh, also, I mounted this little thing. I found this right here at Goodwill, this little rack. And it was almost a perfect size for my uh, edger blades. You guys can see that. So, uh, that's my edger blades right there. Keep those in there, keep a couple in there. And then I put the little changeable to the tool that you change it out with. So edger blade edgers right here. Grab the edger, see that is, is I need to change it out. Grab one of these, put it on the floor down there, take the tool out, switch it out, and I'm ready to go. Alright guys, we're back at this property here. I mowed it uh Wednesday, I think it was. And uh, back here to do hedge job and pine needle job. So what we got and we're gonna make it look good also gonna put some pine needle around this tree right here kind of make it really pop
working on leaving these, try to leave these as one unit. And it'll fill in over time, but right now it's a little scarce. And here, I'm gonna leave these separate. So it can kind of show a little bit of the vining factor in the back. 